I love this book so much. I really want to read the next one, but I don't have it. Hi everyone, so um, welcome to a weekly reading vlog. It is currently Wednesday. I didn't film on Monday and Tuesday because um, I did actually film a 24 hour reading uh, vlog so I attempted to read two books in 24 hours and um, I stayed up very very late and my sleeping schedule was completely destroyed and I was just sort of burnt out from reading so much so I just took a bit of a break yeah so I'm currently not really feeling well, um, you can probably tell, I feel like I look really pale, I'm not too sure why, um, but yeah, I'm not really feeling well, it's uh, that time of the month, so um, not feeling great, but um, I do actually have some really good reading updates for you, so yesterday I picked up Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend, this is the second book in the Nevermore series. Um, it's a middle grade fantasy and I am over 200 pages. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I am exactly 200 pages in. I was struggling to sleep last night, which is something that happens to me around this time of month. I stayed up until I think about 2 a.m. reading this because I couldn't fall asleep. Um, so, I really enjoy this. If you guys have not picked up Nevermore, I really suggest you do. Um, Nevermore follows our main character Morrigan Crow, who on the eve of her 11th birthday is supposed to die, but a man called Jupiter North knocks on her door and says that he's going to whisk her away to be her, his apprentice in the Wondrous Society, which he wants to induct her into. So in order to do that, she has to go through a series of trials in order to be accepted. So that's what the first book is about. It is such a fun and whimsical time. I really, really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. If you are worried about it being too young because it is a middle grade, I suggest you just pick it up because it is such a dark... Um, uh, middle grade and it's not dumbed down at all the writing is quite um, normal I would say that it reads like a YA even though some of it does uh, sound quite young um, it's still really easily read for you know the 23 year old now what am I? Um, so this is the second book. It follows on from the events that took place in the first book and it's really interesting. It's also really sad <laughs> but um, yeah it's also really dark as well so yeah I'm really enjoying this. Um, I also on my Kindle have started reading um, Restless Slumber. I think I'm um, like 8% through. I, I haven't read very much. Um, but it's going okay. I was actually planning on doing some filming today, but I just don't feel well whatsoever. Um, I was also going to go and do the rest of my um, Christmas shopping, but I don't want to go anywhere, so yeah. Also, I apologize if you can hear the aircon going above you. Um, it's very very hot and I feel disgusting so yes um, I've just finished watching a whole bunch of booktube videos um, and I think right now I'm going to take some painkillers and curl up in bed because <laughs> I don't feel good. Um, so yeah, I know I should probably eat something but I really don't feel hungry so yeah anyway welcome to the vlog um let's go and finish wondersmith
Oh, Louie. Louie, Louie, Louie. Alright, so it's about two hours later now and I have just taken a break. I had to do a phone call um, for some important stuff. Um, but I have managed to read about 60 pages of Wondersmith and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I am now also feeling a little bit hungry so I am making myself some ramen to eat and um, yeah so I read 60 pages and I also just finished editing a video so I'm waiting for that to save so I can upload that. Um, so I have my water boiling at the moment, it looks like it's almost ready so I'm going to pop in the ramen and I will most likely watch um, some booktube videos while I eat it. I took a nap because I wasn't feeling well and I just got woken up by the loudest thunder ever so I think we're about to have a storm and I am not prepared for this <laughs> so you guys probably don't know this actually I don't think I've even mentioned it anywhere actually no I think I might have mentioned it on my Instagram story once I am terrified of thunder and fireworks because of something that happened to me when I was younger. Um, my parents took me to like a, a festival and there was fireworks going off. I think I was young enough to be a toddler and I was sitting in a pram or a trolley depending on how you call it. and. Um, a piece of the fire cake a uh, fire firework like wrapping um it's like wrapped in like newspaper or, or something or like cardboard and um a piece of that uh flew and hit me in the face i was okay i wasn't hurt or anything it wasn't on fire but obviously being you know one to two years old and having something hit you in the face when there is really loud bangs happening kind of leaves an impression on you even when you are 23 years old so even still to this day i don't watch fireworks i can watch them on tv but i don't like watching them i literally shake and i start to cry because i don't like them and thunder is pretty similar um, depending on how loud and frequent it is if it's like like one big one and then it's like you know five minute break and then another big one if it's sporadic like that I can handle it but I don't want this <laughs> anyway um, it's time for me to feed my children and um, then I am going to um, go and I think order pizza so you guys don't get to see Prince very often but here he is it's cranky that I haven't given him his food yet so here we go Louie no I said <laughs> Louie come on Louie are you ready Prince? I don't know if it's like 
hypnosis or if it's like magic or if it's some weird like experiment or like I don't know what's happening and I don't really want to get into it too much because again like I want to leave this pretty spoiler free but our main character Inez is pretty like I don't know kind of hesitant or resistant to this thing that the pizza is here Louis is attempting to eat it <sighs> I'm so excited and outside looks absolutely miserable and dark so it's going to be a very dark night isn't that right Louie? Louie! <laughs> hi you saying you're giving the camera kisses oh that's nice I'm currently just watching a new booktuber that I found. Um, her name is Alexandra, or Lexi, I think she likes to um, be called. Um, I've just been watching Louie. <laughs> just been watching her video, and at the moment I'm watching her Dark Academia reading vlog. And I'm just, I'm so happy because she liked this book, and so did I, and I'm so happy. It's If We Were Villains, by the way. So, yeah going to go and dig into this and continue watching. biggest flash of lightning I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear that or not it's still going that was like a 30 second long... No, it's still going. Okay, now I think it stopped. That was one of the longest thunder rumbles that I've ever heard. But literally that was the brightest flash of lightning I have seen. And now it's also raining. Oh, we're in for a long night. Makes good reading weather, I guess. If you're not scared of thunder. Oh boy. Hi guys, so it is a bit later. Um, the storm hasn't happened yet, but I bet it's going to come back around at like 1 a.m. and wake me up again, so that'll be great. So I think I am just going to go and read and finish um, Wondersmith. I think I have about 200 pages left which shouldn't be too hard. Um, it's only 8.30 so I should possibly finish that by about 10 maybe. So yeah I'm going to, do I want to crawl into bed? No, I'm going to sit in the living room and read so I don't fall asleep. That's what I'm going to do. Hi. Um, it is uh, Thursday today and I've just been shopping. Christmas shopping for a lot of people. But also, I broke my book buying ban and I bought a lot of books. So. <laughs> and I also got my parcels today. Which is where I also bought a lot of books. So, I want to show you them. So... <laughs> One of the first things that I got the other day was Left Hand, Left Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix. I heard Beth from Books Nest talk about this one and I liked the premises of it. I believe it is 
um, Secret Agents and it's a historical fiction as well and there's also some Authorian stuff in here. I think the right hand people are good people and the left hand people are bad. I'm not entirely too sure um, but yes. So I got that one. Today I also, so I got uh, Homer's um, The Odyssey to go with my Iliad and then I also got Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen and I also got Cinderella is Dead, I'm so excited about this one, ah, um, by Kaylin Barron, I'm so excited, Barron, yeah, I'm so excited. And then also in that one I got this very heavy a box set of Game of Thrones because I bought recently um, Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin so I figured that I would need the rest of the collection to be able to read it and it was on sale for like 50 bucks I think so yeah and then today as my sister and I were shopping we also came across some very nice books so I got her 1985 by George Orwell. This is one that she picked out so she knew that she wanted this so she knew she was getting it. Um, and then I also got Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. This is for a gothic literature class that I know I have to take in a couple of years time. But I wanted to read it and sort of be familiar with the story. Then I also got Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I wanted to read the book before I watched the movie, so yes. And then I also got Dante, the Divine Comedy. So my sister and I are going to read this together because she seemed really interested in the fact that it's poetry. So yeah, and then I also... Are you seeing this? so happy right now. So as soon as I finish Wondersmith and Fortuna Sworn, the second book, I'm going to be reading this and I'm so excited. I cannot wait. But anyway, I have a lot of books that I need to not put away, but I have to wrap this one and then do a whole lot of gift wrapping. So let's go and do that. It's also very, very hot. Um, so it is much later right now and um, I didn't film because I had to, um, well one, I had a family dinner that I had to go to and then two, I've just had a really bad asthma attack and so you can probably hear from my voice, it's very, um, very croaky and um, yeah, so I had a little bit of a rough night, um, but anyway, I have just finished Wondersmith. I have just finished Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend and oh my god, I almost cried at the end. This book just gives me so many feels and I just... Morgan is such a cute young girl who just wants to find her place in the world and there is no need for all of these people to be so mean to her and I just I just want to wrap her up in a little ball of bubble wrap and make sure that she is safe and happy oh uh, why am I doing this is a library copy that's gross I honestly if you have not picked up this series I 100% highly implore you to. It is such a good middle grade series and the ending of this, the last like 50 pages gets so dark. It felt like I was reading a YA, which I, I guess kind of 
my 13 year old's class is YA. This book got really dark, really quick, and really scary. Not like in a spooky sense, but like in a, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Holy crap, I hope those people are okay and I hope no one dies. Type of scary. Um, I just, this book is so good. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 if you guys couldn't tell. This is definitely, oh, my heart broke so many times because of how Morrigan was feeling and just like I understood how she felt. Like because... Morrigan is a cursed child throughout her whole entire life growing up when she lived back with her parents before she moved to Nevermore with Jupiter. She constantly felt like an outsider and she was constantly being ignored and it was obviously a very lonely experience and when she talks about it, it just hurts my heart and like I felt for her and, and I could understand how she was feeling because um, going up through school I felt like I didn't really connect with a lot of my peers because I didn't like the same things that they did and throughout high school it was even worse because um, obviously everybody was like going out partying and you know having boyfriends and stuff and there was me just trying to sit in the library and read books so I definitely had that connection with Morrigan that just made my heart hurt and just I feel like it hurts even more because it's coming from a younger person like you know thinking back on these things now as a 23 year old I'm like oh you poor thing but to like hear it come from a 13 year old and think back to those times it's like that's what I was thinking and I'm just like oh no no person should feel like that ever no matter what age and it just oh, I love this book so much I really want to read the next one, but I don't have it. But anyway, I really enjoyed this. I am now going to continue on reading with um, Deadly Dreams by KJ Sutton. I think I'm only at like 9 or 10% in the book, so I still have quite a bit to read. Um, I am hoping to finish that. Uh, what's today? Today is Thursday. Uh, I'm hoping to finish that by Saturday, I think, and then um, I do want to read These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong next. I want to do a video that's just These Violent Delights, so a themed reading vlog, and tomorrow I'm going to be filming two videos because I can't think of any other videos. Yes, but I also want to go and try and get some Christmas decorations for my bookshelf because I don't have any and I feel like I'm missing out. And I feel like it looks weird as not having some sort of Christmas decorations in the background, whereas like everybody else on Booktrip has something. So, yeah. Anyway, just wanted to say, this book almost made me cry. It made me feel a lot of different things. And it made me sad. But I loved it anyway. So, 5 to 5 stars. If you haven't picked the series up yet, please do. Okay. Good night. <laughs>
Let's see if it goes. <coughs> Yay! Okay, time to put the fairy lights on the bookshelf. Yay! All right, let's do it. So it is much later now. I think it's about five o'clock in the afternoon and um, I went and bought another bookshelf. <laughs> So I've been stuck doing that all day and then trying to figure out how I wanted it to look and the cats are playing chasey around the house so that's great. But anyway, i show you my bookshelves. This is what they look like now. I am so super super happy, finally. The only thing I'm not happy about is the fact that my chair is too big. Um, so that's the only problem, but yeah, I will finally be able to do like a bookshelf tour. Um, but I'll just give you a quick overview. Very top shelf is YA fantasy series that are completed. Then I have sci-fi. Then I have adult fantasy, um, standalones or ones that I don't have the second third book to. Um, obviously the Inheritance Trilogy, which is that big tome there, it's all three books in one. Here is the first of my favourites shelf. So I have Maggie Steve Arder's Raven Boys, um, then all of the Schwab's collection, and then we go into Sarah J Mass, um, Sarah J Mass, Sarah J Mass, Sarah J Mass, Sarah J Mass, and then we have the Iron Fae, and then her latest series that I haven't read yet. Then we have uh, Nevernight, and then we have Aurora Cycle, and then this is where I've decided to put my lamp, and these are just some notebooks that I write in all the time. Then we have Adult Fantasy um, series so far. Then I go down to my Cassandra Clare shelf, and then we have my Classics shelf. So this has all of the classics that I own. This shelf will most likely end up becoming a lot bigger as I start uni and start taking more classes. Like I know I have to do, I think two or three Shakespeare classes. So I will want to also just for my own personal taste, um, collect the complete works of Shakespeare. So that shelf is going to end up becoming a lot bigger. And then going down further, we have uh, fantasy YA and books that are um, just have the first book in the series so far and then we also have Miss Lee Bardugo's Grishaverse on the end there then we go into this is YA murder mysteries so that's why I have like um, I have the secret history truly devious and if we were villains those are all murder mysteries um, and then it goes into historical fiction sort of fantasy-ish based and then there's nothing in the other shelf down there and then the last shelf is going to have all of my middle grade series that I will end up collecting so first off we have oh it's around the wrong way I just realized <laughs> whoops um so we have uh Percy Jackson Heroes of Olympus and then the one with Jason I can't remember what it's called <laughs> and then I have the side that you can't see because of the boxes in the way but I have the uh, what's it called? His Dark Materials bind up of all three books. Then I have my unhaul pile. And then I have my box set of Game of Thrones plus the prequel. And then where you can't see is the Harry Potter box set. And then there's also the Vampire Academy series next to it. So yeah. So I do have quite a bit of space to continue my collection, which I am very happy about. I still don't really know what to do with this whole space that I have here. I'll probably end up getting another bookshelf later on down the track. Um, so, yeah. Got a lot to show you. I'm now going to go and read because I haven't done that in a very long time. So it's Sunday and um, I haven't uploaded, no, I haven't spoken. <laughs> to you guys in a little bit um yesterday i had um some family obligations that i had to do all day yeah and i can't remember when the last time i spoke to you was <laughs> i can't remember it's three o'clock on sunday afternoon 
Um, I have not really read much. Um, I've just been completely like zoned out during the day and then um, at night is when I get some reading done. Um, so I haven't finished Restless Slumber yet, but I am planning on reading it right now. I have my Kindle here. Um, I'm actually really not feeling well today. I don't know what it is, but I just feel really run down and I just, like I sort of have like a bit of a headache-ish um, and just, like a little bit nauseous, a little bit dizzy. I really don't know what's going on with me. I'm hoping it's just us that like I haven't slept very well this whole week and I haven't drunk a lot of water. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm also thinking that my <laughs> socializing, my socializing meter has probably filled up a little bit too much. And me being an introvert, if anybody else is an introvert, you will understand this, but if I hang out or socialize with people too much, I then just get extremely tired and like don't want to do anything. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to do anything. So I think that that also might be a factor into why I feel like crap, but we shall see. <laughs> um, so as you can see, I've decorated the bookshelf for Christmas and yeah, I have some cookies and a coffee here to help me just feel a bit better I guess um, and I am just about to finish watching one video before I start reading um, Restless Slumber I'm enjoying it um, it is taking a little bit to get into for some reason and I think it's probably because like I think I took like a few days in between reading it and this picks up like almost directly after um Fortuna Swarton so tip of advice if you're planning on reading these make sure you have the first two books because they they literally do carry on straight after one another um so yeah I am currently at 32% in and apparently I have four hours left of the audiobook, so hopefully I can finish that tonight, maybe. Um, also, I managed to get the entire series of Red Rising, I think that's what the series is called, but I have the whole entire collection from the library. So I have them just here, as you can see. There they are. So as you can see, I'm a... Uh, I'm missing the first book in the series, so I have to wait a couple of days before I can get that. So I'm hoping I can read those as well because, yeah, I will talk to you guys when I have an actual update. Alright, so I'm going to be honest, I have not read anything since I last spoke to you um, because I feel very, 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 very poopy. And, um, yeah, I don't have enough brain capacity. <laughs> so, and because it is Sunday, I'm going to finish the vlog here. <sighs> I do apologize that this vlog ended up being a bit of a mess towards the end. Um, hopefully next week's vlog will be much better. Um, but at least I did finish a book. I finished, um, Wondersmith, which I gave five stars, so that's great. I really hope I'm not getting sick, but I don't know. It just My asthma is playing up real bad, and anyway, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Um, let me know what you guys are going to be reading for the next week. I can't believe we only have like two two weeks left of Christmas that the two weeks left until Christmas this is insane uh, I'm going to go and edit this video before I go to sleep so I'm going to do that before it gets any later because it's already 10 30 um, so wish me luck you guys <laughs> all right um, I will 
talk to you guys in another video later on.